It's a beautiful place for a walk. And now, a dip. Lower Largo is the latest area in Scotland to be given designated bathing water status, but samples still have to be taken to ensure the quality of the water. It's great for, for public health. I mean, these are beautiful spaces for everybody to enjoy. I think we've all learned over lockdown how important local spaces are for both our physical and mental health. And what we're doing is giving people information as to what the water quality is and seeing if any improvements are needed. So we're monitoring the water quality for two indicator organisms, um, E. coli and intertine lentococci, and they tell us whether the water meets the standards for bathing for human health. With Lower Largo now added to the list of places swimmers and paddlers can enjoy, the total number of designated bathing areas in Scotland is now 87. There's been high demand for the status to be granted with the campaign led by the local community after a bad experience in the sea. I'm delighted that we've reached this stage uh, after our vice chair, Matt Allen, has pursued it for two or three years. Originally he started as a wild water swimmer, found himself in raw sewage and that's what gave him the impetus to pursue this project. It's hoped that the new bathing status will help boost their regeneration plans. In the Community Council, we are engaging in, with our community in a local place plan. And what that means is we are developing a plan of what we want our community to be. And that includes both regenerating this, the beach, the sea, and being part of Restoration Forth with the replanting of seagrass and oysters. We're also regenerating our pier. We have a huge amount of people come here to use the water and the beach. We have 500 or so swimmers in a club called Swans of a Beach. Uh, we have a kayak club, we have a sailing club, and we have people who just come here to walk and enjoy the rock pools, let their children play, let their dogs have a walk. So as an amenity, especially as COVID built, this place and the visitors to it has just grown exponentially. SEPA will continue to monitor the water before an official report with a rating status is published. Felicity Clifford, STV News.